welcome back beautiful family today i want to share with you a very delicious cream cheese sweet bread that i know you are going to love but first things first my apron is on my hands are clean and i am ready to show you my ingredients prepare this cream cheese sweet bread these are my ingredients I have cream cheese at room temperature granulated sugar baking powder a pinch of salt all-purpose flour unsalted butter at room temperature room temperature eggs vanilla paste some mold and of course the non-stick baking cream that you already have on my channel of course, every home has to have this amazing nonstick baking cream. So let's get started. I am ready to start making this amazing sweet bread. Look at this. I have the cream cheese at room temperature, the unsalted butter, and I am ready to cream it really good before I add the granulated sugar. Make sure that you cream it really good and that you clean the sides of your bowl so that everything gets nice and incorporated. Once you remove everything, make sure that you add your sugar, granulated sugar, and then incorporate it into all this amazing cream before you blend away or else your kitchen is going to be full of granulated sugar. Once you added the granulated sugar, whisk it a little more for a couple minutes. And once this is done, you are ready to start adding your rest of the ingredients. Let me tell you, this cream cheese sweet bread comes out delicious. I'm adding my room temperature eggs. I'm going to go ahead and whisk it really good incorporate make this really creamy soft fluffy and let me tell you you are really going to love this amazing recipe easy to prepare perfect for the holidays and of course perfect for this cold weather now i am ready to add and remove because I'm not going to whisk it anymore. I am going to just incorporate it with the spatula, cleaning the sides of the bowl. And I am going to add the vanilla paste. The vanilla paste really gives the sweet bread such a delicious and amazing flavor. Believe me, when you add vanilla paste instead of vanilla extract you are really going to enjoy your you baking with this amazing vanilla paste i have the all-purpose flour the baking powder the pinch of salt and of course my bailey i use baileys to preserve my all-purpose flour so here I am going to incorporate with the spatula. At first, you're going to be thinking this is a very dry or very thick mixture. But let me tell you, remember, we added the cream cheese. We added the unsalted butter. And it's going to be nice and creamy and nice and thick. Now I have my mold that I'm going to take to the, to the oven. The oven, I am already getting it nice and hot. 350 Fahrenheit they're gonna go in there for 30 minutes but here you have to make your non-stick baking cream you already have that amazing recipe on my channel there is no need to add butter or lard and then your all-purpose flour everything is already done in this amazing non-stick baking cream you're gonna start filling your little mini mini containers 
halfway, not all the way up, because remember, once they start getting nice and fluffy, you want to make sure that they don't go overboard. So here I'm just going to pat them a little bit. I'm ready to put them on the tray and take them to the oven. Always preheat your oven before adding this amazing mixture in there. It's going to be in the oven for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, let me show you how golden brown they are. When you put a toothpick inside, it comes out clean. Always put it right in the center so that you know that they are baked through. But let me show you how easy it is to remove with that amazing mixture of the nonstick baking cream. Look at this. Of course, you could enjoy it with a delicious coffee in the morning. You could enjoy it with an amazing cold glass of milk. Oh my gosh, it's really fluffy. The aroma of the vanilla, just amazing. Look how easy it is to get them out of the mold. They're really fluffy, really moist, nice and crispy from the outside. And of course, when you cook with love, everything comes out perfect. And I am sure you are really going to love this amazing recipe. If I could make it at home, of course you can. Step by step, how to make this delicious cream cheese sweet bread. Enjoy it with your beautiful family. My mouth is already watering and I can't wait to taste it. So I am ready for the presentation. I'll see you in a bit. I am completely done with this amazing cream cheese sweet bread that I know you guys are really going to love. It's nice and brown from the outside, but yet from the center, it's moist, it's fluffy, it's just delicious. And of course, my family behind the scenes ate the piece that I pulled apart. When you start pulling apart the bread and it's still nice and warm, you just can't control yourself. You really enjoy that amazing bread. Well, this is the part I love and enjoy tasting my recipes. Look at this. Look how warm this is. I wish you guys were here to taste it with me. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. You need to make this bread. It comes out perfect. Cheers. Just amazing. I hope my friends, you make this amazing cream cheese sweet bread. I am sure you are going to love it. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives. So cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share, and see you on my next amazing recipe. Bye-bye.